Hello and welcome to today's social studies lesson. So first of all guys, can we all turn to wave and say a big hello to our friends on camera. Hello. Hello. And we'll begin by doing our meditation sequence. So I will sit down, take two fingers, find our heart center, left hand on our laps and close our eyes. When you're ready guys, you can open your eyes and come back to the room. And next we'll do our stretch sequence. So let's stand up and push in our chairs. And we'll begin by stretching up high to the sky. High as we can. And then stretch down low to touch your toes. Stretch up high one more time. And this time, can we go tippy toe high? And while we're there, let's have a wave. And then back down to our toes once more. Now guys, stand with our hands on our hips and we can do a wiggle side to side. Stop. Another wiggle side to side. Stop. Forwards, backwards. Forwards, backwards. Forwards, backwards. And stop. And now we can go round and round. Give our spines a nice stretch round and round. And stop. And then back the other way. Round and round the other way. And stop. And to finish, we will do five claps. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so in our previous social studies lesson, we began to learn about things we can purchase when we go shopping. Things that we pay money for. And what we did is we put these things that we can buy and pay money for into two different categories. Now, does anybody remember what those categories were? Excellent, yes. There are two particular types of things that we can purchase and pay money for. The first one was goods. G-O-O-D-S. And then the second type of thing we can buy, services. S-E-R-V-I-C-S. So all together, guys, we've got goods and services. Now, the main difference between the two is that goods are things we can go and buy and then hold and take home with us. They are what we call goods. But services are things we go and we pay money but what happens is somebody does something for us. They provide a service. It's not something physically that we take home. 
So who can tell me a good example of some goods? What are examples of some goods that we can buy, guys? Food, excellent. Food is probably the best example because it's something we have to buy every day. Food. So we'll write that one on the board first. Food, F-O-O-D. Now there's lots of different types of goods. So can anybody think of other examples? TV, television, excellent. Television is an example of electrical goods. And there are different types of electrics like computer, laptop, telephone, but TV is a very good example. So let's write TV too. And think about your own homes, guys, or even what you bring to school with you. What sort of things do you, have you bought to bring to school? Any other ideas? Bicycle, yes, a bicycle is an example of a good. We can go to the shop to buy a bicycle and then bring it home with us. So bicycle, B-I-C-Y-C-L-E. Any other? Clothes, yes, very good down. Clothes is another great example. Clothes are things that we have to wear all the time. So what we need to do sometimes is go out Buy some new clothes and then take them home. Clothes are a good example of goods. C-L-O-T-H-E-S. Laptop. Laptop, yes. Especially for teaching. I have to use my laptop every day. So it's a very important good. Laptop. L-A-P-T-O-P. Well, let's think about something smaller. What do you use at school? Toys too, yes. Toys is a good one. What's on your desks now, guys? What do you write with? Pen. pen. What happens when your pen runs out of ink? You have to go and buy a new one. So something, even something like a pen or a pencil, they are examples of goods. Pen, pencil, eraser, ruler. They're all goods, they're things that we can buy and take home. They don't have to be big, expensive things. They can be something as small as a candy bar, a lollipop, or a pencil. So all together, guys, we have food, TV, bicycle, clothes, laptop, and toys. All good examples of goods. But now, thinking about the other category, Services. Who can think of some services that can be provided for us? Haircut. Yes, excellent example. When we go to get a haircut, do we buy it and then take it home with us? No. The person in the hairdressers or the barbers will cut our hair for us. That's an example of a service. So haircut. Any other examples, guys? Doctor, excellent. If we're sick or not feeling well, who do we need to go to see? The doctor. Do we bring the doctor home with us? No. Do we buy the doctor? No. The doctor will look after us, check our health. That's an example of service. And similar to doctor, not if we're feeling sick, how about if we have a sore tooth? Dentist, Dentist yes. Dentist is like the doctor for our teeth, and it's another type of service. And particularly in Thailand, somewhere I like to go, if my body is feeling stiff, where will I go? Massage. Yes, a massage is another type of service too. I can't go and buy a massage and then bring it home with me, put it in the fridge. I have to go and the person will give the massage. That's an example of service. M A S S A G E. Okay, any more examples, guys? Have a think about your own lives. Where are you now? School. school. What are you doing at school? Learning. Learning. You are receiving an education. An education isn't a good. You can't buy an education and then take it home. You have to be given an education. An education is a service. 
So one more we'll do, education. So all together, guys, for services, we've got haircut, doctor, doctor dentist, dentist, massage, and education. And that's a recap of the two different types of things that we can purchase. And what we're going to do in today's lesson is we're going to look at some of the reasons why people want to buy these things. What makes people want to go out and buy a TV? Why do we need a TV? Or why do some people want to buy a bicycle? Some people like to ride a bicycle, some people don't. And also the same with toys and different types of clothes. Some people might like to buy a hat, other people don't want to wear a hat. What are the factors that are affecting the purchase of the goods and services? So what we're going to do now is take a look at a PowerPoint presentation for our students to observe, listen to, and also practice speaking of some of the factors affecting the purchase of goods and services. So guys, that was brilliant, very well remembered. So let's take a look at our PowerPoint presentation about factors affecting goods and services. And what this means, guys, is what are the things that make people want to buy certain products? Some people like to buy one type of telephone and other people like to buy others. Not everybody buys the same things. There are different reasons why different people choose to purchase things. And what we're looking at today are some of them different reasons also known as factors affecting. So the first reason, there are various factors that affect demand for goods and services. And that word there, demand, that means the amount of people who want to buy them. If there's a high demand for something, Lots of people want to buy it. But if there's only a low demand, nobody really wants to buy it. And what are the factors that influence a high or a low demand? Number one, income. Income means money. The amount of money that a person has. The amount of money a person has influences what they can buy. Yes, because all the things we want to buy cost money. So if we only have a small amount of money, we can only buy a small amount of things. But if we're really rich, if we win the lottery, we can buy lots of things, lots of expensive cars, houses and clothes. So the main factor affecting goods and services, money or income. And number two, price. The cost of goods or services will influence people to buy them or not. Yes. Like for example, if I go for a coffee and a coffee costs 40 baht, I think, okay, that's reasonable. I will pay 40 baht for a coffee. But if I go to the shop and the coffee is 400 baht, I won't buy it. It's too expensive. So the price of things will influence if people want to buy them or not. Same for you guys. If you want to buy a bar of chocolate or candy, maybe 10 baht is okay. But if the bar of candy is 100 baht, no, you won't buy. Too expensive. So the price has a big influence. Reason number three, taste. Different people will like 
and want to buy different goods and services. Yes. Like, for example, foods. Not everybody eats the same food all the time. Some people like to eat chicken. Some people like to eat fish. And other people just like to eat vegetables. So different people will want to buy different things. So the taste of the person, what it is that person wants to eat and wants to buy, will affect the goods and services. And then number four, credit system. Have a look at the picture. Does anybody know what that is? You're too young to have one. When you're older, when you're an adult, you can go to the bank and this is what's called credit card. And what a credit card means, if you don't have the money at the moment, or you want to buy something, you can pay with a credit card. Say, for example, I want to buy a new laptop, but I don't have no money. I can go to the store with a credit card, and if the laptop is 10,000 baht, I can give my credit card, and then the store will give me the laptop. Then every month, I have to pay a little bit off the amount. So a credit card allows you to buy things quickly if you don't have the money. If people can use credit, it might make them decide to purchase. Yes, rather than save the money and wait six months, you can buy now, get the product, and then pay off over the next six months. Lots of people do it with cars and houses. We don't have the money to buy straight away. So we'll get them on credit and pay off over time. And another thing, advertising. Yes, you can see the big sign here. When you go into the city center like Chiang Rai or even the bigger cities like Bangkok, you will see lots of big things called billboards. And yeah, these are showing telephones, TVs, clothes, all things that are for sale will be highlighted on billboards. And these are called adverts. Adverts make people aware of goods and services they want to buy. Yes, if a new product like a new car, a new telephone, or even new clothes come out. The company who sell them want people to know. So what they do is they produce big adverts. And then the people know that that product is for sale and they can go and buy it. And then another important factor, goods quality. The quality of goods will influence people to buy them or not. And what quality means, it means good or bad. Something of good quality we want to buy. Like for example, if you go shopping for fruit and you see a banana and the banana looks fresh, yellow and tasty, you want to buy it. That's good quality. But if the banana is black, and soggy, and looks not nice to eat, that's bad quality. So good and bad quality affect what we want to buy. Not just with foods, but all other things. Cars, clothes, and then finally, free samples. If people can test products first, they might use them more. Yeah, have a look in the picture here. Has anybody seen anything like this before in the shop? What's happening here? You see this lady in the blue shirt? She works for the shop. And here, she has free samples. She's offering the people to taste 
before they buy. So then, if the people like the drink, they might want to buy it. So we give free samples first, and then if we don't like, we don't have to buy. If we do like, we can buy. I went to Macro about two weeks ago, and there was a lady in Macro, and she was giving out free samples of a new type of yogurt. So we could taste first, and then decide if we want to buy later. And these are some of the different factors affecting goods and services. Any questions, guys? Okay, that was excellent. Well done. <laughs> Welcome back to class. We hope your students enjoyed the PowerPoint presentation so that they can get an understanding of the various factors that affect the sale and purchase of goods and services. And what we've got coming up soon is a flash activity auction game to see if our students can guess the correct prices for some different products. And the closest guess will get to win the picture of that product. Well, first of all, guys, time for our stretch sequence. So let's stand up and push in our chairs. And for this stretch sequence, we'll begin with some rotations. Left, right, left. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Excellent, guys. Now we'll do some stretches. Let's do five to our right. One, two, three, four, five. Excellent. And now we'll do five to our left. One, two, three, four, five. Excellent, guys. And now we'll take our right hand and we'll find our left foot. And now left hand, right foot. Right hand. Left foot, left hand, right foot, right hand, left foot, left hand, right foot. And let's shake it out. Arms and legs, shake it out. And to finish, we will do five star jumps. One, two, Three, four, five. Excellent, guys. Have a seat. So now what we've got, teachers, is a flash activity where we are going to auction off some properties or some products. And what we're going to do is give each of our students a piece of paper. We're going to ask them to guess the price that they would pay for each product depending on the factors affecting goods and services that they learned before. What teacher will do, I will write the price of each object. And after our students have all guessed, the one who gets the closest guess to the price that teacher gives will win the picture of that product. So first of all, we'll introduce the five products that are on display for auction today. So the first product for auction today is shoes. Okay, so start having a think, guys. How much in baht, in Thai baht, how many baht would you pay for these shoes? So that's product number one. And product number two, teddy bear. Okay, so who would like to buy the teddy bear and how much would you pay? Okay, so remember not to tell your friends, you'll be given a piece of paper, write your price on, we'll list them on the board, and the closest student to the price that teacher gives wins the picture. So we've got product number two, teddy bear. And then an electrical product, quite expensive this one guys, laptop, computer. Okay, so electrical, quite expensive. Product number four, 
we have T-Rex. This is a toy of Tyrannosaurus Rex dinosaur. So would you like this product and how much will you pay? Finally, our fifth and final product for auction today is a bicycle. Okay. So we have our five products listed for auction now. One more time. Shoe. Shoe. Teddy bear. Teddy bear. Laptop. Laptop. Dinosaur, Dinosaur toy. Bicycle. Bicycle. Okay. So what we're going to do now we're going to give each student their own sheet of paper. They have to think in Thai Bart, we're going to begin with the shoe guys. How much would you pay for this pair of shoes? You get two, not just the one, because you have two feet. But everybody needs to write their price on their paper. And important guys, don't share with your friends. Do it yourself and don't tell anyone. Then when I ask you, I'll write the price here. And the closest one to the price I have will win the auction. So, Lakau, this is for you. Bangbon, here's your auction sleeve. Leo, Zhang, Chu, Nadia, Pat, Pat Kung, Net. Okay, so we're going to give our students around one minute. We'll give them one minute to think about how much they will pay for the running shoes. And in that time, I will write my price too. Okay, it's okay. I'll ask you, you don't have to give me the paper. I'll ask you, because you have five products for auction. Okay, we have our price. We have our price. Okay, so has everybody written their price? Okay, Lakau, how much? Again, sorry. So Lakau... 350. Bangpon, how much? 200. Creo. 357. Okay, seven bars extra. Down. 250. Two. How much will you pay for these shoes? 300. Okay, so 300 for two. Nadia. 220. At 150, okay. Pak Bung, 275 baht. And finally, net, 200 and 290 baht. Okay, guys. So the prices are in for the auction. Now I will reveal the price, the cost of the shoes. <laughs> 800 baht. It's for two shoes. You don't just get one, you get two. <laughs> So, who's the closest? Pro? Pro? 357 baht. You were closest. So, Pro, come to the forward and collect your shoes.
Come and collect your shoes. <laughs> Big round of applause for Prel, please, guys. <laughs> I think maybe my shoes are a bit more expensive. Maybe I was too high with 800. <laughs> but it was for two pairs of shoes. Okay, so teachers, you can see the activity that we're doing in our classroom now. There's five products for auction. So what you can do is pause the video now and carry on the auction with the four remaining products. Have students bid each time for each product and then the student who guesses closest to the product can come forward and receive a round of applause and the picture of the object too. And we're going to carry on playing here. So guys, next object for auction is the teddy bear. So one minute now, have a think, how much will you pay for the teddy bear? And I will write a price. And it won't be 800 baht, it will be lower for the teddy bear. So... Write your price, and then I'll write mine. <laughs> okay. The teddy bear, teddy bear. How much will you pay for the teddy bear? Give you a few more seconds and then we'll record the bids. We'll record the bids and see who gets closest to the teddy bear. Don't tell your friends because if you both have the same bid, nobody can win. Everybody ready? Okay. No, we'll, because I'll stay the same everyone. Black gal? Your bid, please. 250. Okay, so Lackout is going for 250 for the teddy bear. 520 for the teddy bear for Pankpon. Prel, how much? 273 for Prel. Two hundred fifty-three for down. Chu, how much for the teddy bear? Five hundred. Five hundred baht for Chu. Nadia, what's your bid for the teddy bear? Five hundred and ten. Hat. 190 for the teddy bear. Okay. Pak Bung? 297. So just under 300, we've got 2, 9, 7. Net, how much for the teddy bear? 300. Okay, guys, so all of the bids are in for the teddy bear. And I've got some important news. Somebody has bidded correctly. Are we ready? Price for the teddy bear is 250. Who bid 250? Lakao, Lakao, come forward and receive your teddy bear. Big round of applause for Lakau, please, guys. And that's your teddy bear. Well done, Lakau. <laughs> okay, so Lakau got it completely perfect. She guessed the right amount and therefore has the teddy bear. Item number three. Now, guys, laptop. This is quite expensive, so up your bids, okay? Into thousands. This is an electrical laptop. So once again, one minute, have a think, how much would you pay for the laptop? Okay. I'll give you a clue. 
four digits. Remember, the electrical goods are usually more expensive because they involve electrics. So the laptop will be more expensive than the shoes and the teddy bear. I'll wait a few more seconds till all the bids are in. Ned, you have your bid. Pakpong. Nadia, okay. You have your bid. Chu, you have your bid. Everybody? Okay. So once again, we'll start with the winner of the last auction, Black Gao. Black Gao, how much will you pay for the laptop? 19,000. Oh, must be a very good laptop. Let's see. Nineteen thousand. Okay. Bang pon. Five thousand nine hundred and ninety-nine. Okay, so just under six thousand baht. Five thousand nine hundred and ninety-nine. Okay. Rao. Six thousand three hundred and fifty two baht down four thousand five hundred two. What's your bid for the laptop? Two thousand three hundred for two. How about Nadia? 8,100, okay. Pat, what's your bid? 5,000. 5,000 5, straight, okay. 5,000 baht from Pat. Pak Bung? 3,579. And then the final bid for the laptop from net, 1,050. Okay. Okay, so we've got a big range of bids. We've got from 19,000 from Lakao to 1,000 from net. So a big range of bids for the laptop. The actual price today for the laptop is... 6,500. So who's closest? Prow again. Prow has bid 6,352. Only 148 baht away from the true price. So Prow, come and collect your laptop. Okay, so big round of applause for Prow, please, guys. Well done, Prow. Okay, so so far, Prel has the shoes and the laptop. Lakau has the teddy bear. Now, guys, the next product up for auction, dinosaur toy. Okay? So it's a, it's a toy of a T-Rex. T-Rex dinosaur toy. How much would you pay for the T-Rex dinosaur toy? Okay, the price has been decided. Now you have to write your prices. Think about the factors affecting quality, taste, Everybody ready? Okay, the bids are in. So, Lakao will... 
280. 280. Okay, 280 baht for Lakao. Bank one? 500. 500 for the dinosaur toy. Fell? 771. 170 from down, okay. Two, how much for the dinosaur toy? 100 baht, okay. Nadia? 870, 870. 870, 870. Pat, how much for the dinosaur toy? 300. 350. 350. Pak Bung? 372. Okay, and final bid from net. How much for the dinosaur toy? 150. Okay, 150 from net. Okay, so all of the bids are in. Now it's time to reveal the price of the dinosaur toy. 125 bars. So who's closest? Really? Two, 100, net, 150. Okay, so what we need to do is we have two close bidders because 125 is halfway between 100 and 150. Okay, so two, net, come to the front of class, please. Now we will decide who wins the dinosaur toy. So are you ready? Ready? One, two, three, go. Net, net wins. So a big round of applause for Net, please, guys. And two, well done, good bid, high five. Okay, so now we're on to our final item for auction today, the bicycle. Okay, so a bicycle can be quite expensive. Let me think, it is four digits. This is a four digit. It's not a very, very expensive bicycle, but it's a nice bicycle. So you might want to pay some money for it. But it'll be four digits. Four digits. Ready guys? Ready. Okay, let's hear the final bids for the final goods for auction today. So, that go. 2,525. 2,525, sorry. 2,525. Bank one. Okay, 9,572 for bank one. Rao, what's your bid? 4,372. Okay, down. 2,570. Two. 4,000, 4,100, 4,100, Nadia, 
3,145. Okay, thank you. Pat, your bid for the bicycle, 6,000. 400, 6400. Pack boom. 3,520. And then the final bid from net, 4,700. Okay, so 4,700. Excellent. So all of the bids are in for the bicycle. The final goods that is up for auction. Let's see who's closest. Got someone quite close. 3,725 baht. So, guys, who is this here? Nadia. Nadia. 3,145. Well, hang on. What about this one? Pak Bung, 3,520 is closest. So Nadia, sorry, you're close, but Pak Bung is even closer. So Pak Bung, come and get your bicycle. Here's your bicycle, or at least your picture anyway. Let's have a big round of applause for Pak Bung, guys. Well done, Pak Bung. And well done to everybody for the great auction. And now it's time for our worksheet part of the lesson. And what we've got today, guys, we've got a word search activity. What we're going to ask our students to do is to find as many of the words relating to shopping and buying goods and services that they can in the box. So remember, guys, a word search means the word can be going in any way in a straight line. Up, down, across, or diagonal is fine. And the words that they have to find are in the box too. So each time they find one, they can rub it out and circle the words in the box. But what's the first thing to do, guys? Write your names on top. And give our students around 10 minutes for this activity and help them with any words that they cannot find and at the end of the lesson, if they're not finished, the students can keep and do fair day when they have some free time. So ready guys, net this one's for you. Pat Boom, you're welcome. Pat for you. You're welcome. Nadia for you. You're welcome. Chu, here's yours. Thank you. You're welcome. Down for you. Thank you. You're welcome. Prel Thank for you. Thank you. Bang for you. You're welcome. And Lak Gao. So guys, um, you can help each other, talk to each other and see if you can find the words. You don't have to do it alone, you can work together to find as many words as you can. And remember, they can go any direction, backwards, forwards, up, down and diagonal. And teacher will try to help too. So like now we have here, PH, pharmacy. Pharmacy is on the very bottom. Yep, pharmacy. Well done. So any that you find, guys, you can help your friends. Bank one, have you found one? Arcade, excellent. Well done, Bank one. Bank one has found arcade. The first one. Pharmacy. So once you see it, you can rub it out. And arcade. Arcade is the first word. B A G S. Bags. Like the plastic bags or the cloth bags that we carry while shopping. Any words you're not sure about, guys, let me know. I can explain, because some of the vocabulary might be new. Arcade is like a mall, but smaller. Where the mall is the big, like central plaza, and arcade is smaller. Maybe Big C. Big C is like an arcade, whereas central is like the mall.
Well done, Ned. Bakery, excellent. Ned's found the bakery. Bakery is where we buy our bread and our cakes. And there's another one, butchers. Butcher is where we buy the meat and fish. E-T, basket. Basket is when we're in the supermarket, the thing that we put our items inside before we buy them. If we have lots, we push a trolley. But if we go to 7-Eleven, we might use the basket to put our things into. We have one here, P H A R. Pharmacy. You see this word here? Pharmacy. P and so Y. Bags. Have you found bags? Yeah. Well done. Welcome back to class. We hope your students all enjoyed the worksheet exercise, which for today's lesson is a word search puzzle, and help our students find as many words as they can. And if there's some words that they don't understand, you can explain it to them, because all of the vocabulary is to do with shopping and buying goods and services. And that's all we've got time for in today's lesson, so we hope you've enjoyed it and found it interesting too. And we'll see you again soon for the next lesson. So can we turn to wave and say goodbye, guys? Goodbye. Bye-bye. See you again next time.